So we're closing out SOCAP 23. What an absolute privilege. And I'm sure you've all had a wonderful week, same as I have. So as introduced, I am an impact investor. I work with Catapult, and we invest in early stage impact technology companies focused on climate, ocean, and food and agriculture in Africa. And we also help to raise awareness through the Catapult Foundation about the tools of impact investing and impact technology for good. And more recently, I am a master's graduate from the University of Cambridge. After a big 20-year gap, I went back to embrace academia and to put myself through the troubles and uh, turbulations of going back to school to really try and understand this world of AI ethics and how I could bring that into my work at Catapult with the founders and with investors that we work with and see what overlap there was and how we could learn from AI ethics in our work as impact investors. So I'm going to share some of that research now in eight minutes and 55 seconds, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, but first off, I'd like to, by a show of hands, who has companies in their portfolio that are using artificial intelligence or machine learning as a value driver? Okay, super, quite a few, as expected. And this is sort of what I found in my research. So I looked at PitchBook database and analyzed the portfolios of 350 impact investors and found over 2,000 deals in there, companies been invested in by impact investors across all of the SDGs that were using AI on machine learning. Which is not surprising given that the numbers continue to rise that have been invested into AI. And Goldman Sachs are telling us it's not a bubble, so we anticipate that this will continue. And research is also showing us that it can be used for solutions to our environmental and social problems. And the stat I quote here is from academic research showing it can support 79% of the UN SDGs. But what does that mean for us as impact investors? There's lots to get lost in. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of noise. AI for good, AI for bad. How can we navigate our way through that? So this hence my interest in AI ethics. So by another show of hands, how many of you that have looked at AI have thought about integrating AI ethics into your work? Ah, beautiful. Okay, super. So you're proving out my research. Thank you, SOCAP, in that there are more that have done the investments than have started to think about sort of AI ethics. But I'm quite impressed at this little group here. You need to come find me afterwards. Um, but what I did find from interviewing 14 impact investors, both private wealth and impact VCs, that there is definitely sort of an interest in learning more and recognizing that an integration of these themes of AI ethics can be supportive in achieving sort of their goals of being, making better impact investments. So what does that mean sort of for us? And sort of where do I sort of go next sort of with this research? And what are these risks that I'm talking about? Well, these risks are real. First off, just thinking about techno-solutionism, you know, critiquing ourselves. Is technology always the best tool for the solution to the problem that we're seeking. But then thinking about some of the investments we might see, so examples such as a company seeking to debias the recruitment process by using sort of algorithmic decision making. But if that tool has been built on data that was already biased, we're just going to perpetuate sort of existing biases and we're not going to get sort of a debiased recruitment process. Or a health company, a mental health company using classifiers, looking at language being used by individuals to see and raise awareness if somebody's at risk of self-harm. But again, how has this tool been built? How do we know it's classifying and it is going to sort of escalate the correct issues, those that really are at harm, and who might get missed? So by asking these questions about how the tools are being built and thinking about sort of the ethical considerations of those tools helps us think about sort of the overriding sort of impact of those investments. So the second part of my research was to think about, okay, what do we know? What is out there within the AI ethics world? What work has been done that we can integrate into our impact investment processes? And in talking to the impact investors, this is what I looked at. 
our investment processes. How can we think about different steps and stages in our processes that could lend themselves to integrating AI ethical considerations? This was my hypothesis, and I tested this with those that I interviewed. So first off, screening, due diligence. Some of what I just flagged as high level, how can we get those questions? How can we as impact investors integrate sort of more effectively the right questions to ask? So we can get underneath sort of how the companies are using these models, building and deploying these models to ask questions that are gonna illuminate for us what the potential AI risks may be. And then once we've done that, you know, there are tools out there, sorry, there are tools out there, I should mention, some of them are here, and there are many others. We have um, Ravit Dotan, who I work with, who has put together a framework for, to support investors on diligence. We also, we also have um, NIST here in the US with their risk management framework. There are things out there that can help us and can be used and adapted for our processes. So once we've asked those questions and we have our answers, contracting. I'm sure many of you have seen, as I have in my time working in impact investment, this increased number of us that are integrating impact terms into our term sheets, into our contracts. How could some of those be adapted? How could we sort of add in and cover some AI ethics terms within those contracts? So for example, you know, embedding sort of the purpose. An, an AI tool can be used for multiple purposes, but if we're investing for the energy efficiency purpose, or we're investing for sort of the health outcome, how can we embed that and ensure that the company, and hopefully ensure that to support the company to head on that trajectory and not to use the tool for something as it goes against the impact that we're looking for? So contracting being the second process. And then the final one, follow up, show up, use our voices. We sit on the boards of these companies, we mentor them, we run accelerator programs for them. Ask them to report, give us the feedback loops so that we can get the data as to how these models are working and what are the risk management processes that the companies have put in place. Ask for that data, support the companies, and be sort of a good steward for those that we invest in from an AI ethics standpoint. So this is what I proposed, and this is what I spoke to my uh, interviewees about, and I got some resounding yeses. This sounds great, Alison. Let's sort of go out, let's go build it. So that's sort of the next piece. And I want to sort of, you know, I'm not an academic, but I'm an action-oriented impact person. And so, you know, in distilling sort of my two years and 16,000 words dissertation, the key point I'd like to make here today is that this investment is continuing. There is something that we can do. And if it's not us, then who is going to sort of take that step? So you've heard from me, and I've done quite well. I've gone pretty fast, and I've got one minute and 51 seconds left. So now I'd like to hear from you. So this is sort of my call to action from the end of this sort of talk, in that I'd like to learn from others that have started, those of you here that raised your hand, that have started thinking. Reach out to me, follow me on LinkedIn, follow Catapult Foundation. Ravita and I are actually doing a webinar next week on her work, and we'll continue to do so. We will sort of put together sort of content on this topic over a period of months, and we want to sort of bring those of us together that would like to learn more so that we can put together some best practices. And I would also like to build out further the tools that we've considered and make them publicly available. So the Catapult Foundation is supporting this, but I'm also looking for other funders so that it's not just me. I can sort of work with others um, and we can build out sort of more of these tools. So I hope, and by doing this, that next time if I come and ask for those to put their hands up that are working with AI ethics, integrating AI ethics, we have a few more of you in the audience raising your hands. Thank you very much. <laughs>